I know that you've got a new thematic ETF out there, the work from home. It's really fun to watch ETFs essentially kind of tackle memes these days. We saw the cybersecurity craze, and now they're tackling work from home. You just launched one recently, symbol WFH. Tell us a little bit about what's in this and how it's been received. Yeah, WFH uh, had, was launched last week, but we've already seen a significant increase in assets and trading volume as investors begin to embrace the fact that it's not just about stay-at-home trade or work-from-home trade. This, uh, this is a, the, a long-term theme that's beginning to play out in the market, and by that I mean societal acceptance of having uh, greater remote work and the ability to work from anywhere. So the names that we constructed in this portfolio cover four technological pillars that are driving the ability for people to work from home. So this is your cloud technologies. Um, so these are, these are names like Microsoft and Amazon. Then your cybersecurity, so names like Fortinet, Okta are in the portfolio. And then another pillar which is important for work from home is your project and document management. So names like Box and Dropbox uh, are in that pillar. And then lastly, which I think is the poster child for remote work, is your remote communications. So there is going to be a name like Zoom, but also a name like 8x8 or Twilio, which some people may not be as familiar with. But Twilio is really interesting. That company is actually powering the contact tracing system that New York City is using to track COVID-19. Yeah. Tom, you and I have been talking yeah. about thematic ETFs for many, many years. It's a lot of fun to watch ETFs pick out pick up on the memes that are out there, and that's literally what they are, memes. I guess the question is, is there any reason to believe that work from home is a, a meme with more staying power than, remember cannabis ETFs, for example, or remember how crazy we were four years ago about Bitcoin ETFs and trying to stuff companies that had very incremental revenues uh, from Bitcoin into a Bitcoin ETF? Give me your, your thoughts on this, this work from home uh, meme, yeah, I'm calling it, and, and whether it's, it's not staying power. It's definitely not a fad. Uh, Bob, you and I, you know, we've been around for a while. Um, we try to be tech savvy. I think we've upped our game in this environment. It doesn't mean when we're past the coronavirus that we're going to get back to our old ways. Everybody in America and around the world is embracing technology and stocks are benefiting from that. And one important thing here I, I think we need to make is we're all big fans of ETFs, and you talk about the FANG stocks and their overall weight with major market indices, that's important. The question is, what are the future FANG stocks going to be? And if you look at some of these work from home stocks that Dave just mentioned, some of them may be there. So we have to ask ourselves, when you look at your portfolio, what percentage, and many have them very highly correlated to the S&P 500, are gonna work well into the future and how do I get out of some of those industries that may continue to be challenged? You know, leisure and enter entertainment, the energy area, banks are going to be challenged maybe for a while here. So we have opportunities with these new creative ETFs that are out there. Look at the underlying, as you always say, Bob, lift up the hood, understand what you're buying. Some of these stocks you maybe have never heard before, but the ETF companies like Direction do a great job in talking about the underlying stocks and really why they might be different from other holdings that you have in your portfolio. Yeah. You know, uh, and this is for both of you guys. That's a good point. But uh, Tom and Dave, do you really think some of these stocks that you had, your Twilio and CrowdStrike and Zoom uh, and Elastic, uh, do you really think they have the potential to enter the mega cap space like a, a Microsoft? I mean, Microsoft appeals across many categories. It's a monster uh, in cloud computing, it, it's big in hardware, it's really big in consumer software. Kind of hard to imagine. I mean, can you make an argument that these c smaller names we're talking about could potentially become really big mega cap names the way the FANG stocks are? Well, well it, just, just yeah. go ahead, Dave. We're, we're, we are seeing, you know, we are seeing a name like Zoom, uh, you know, recently was added to the NASDAQ. Uh, again, that's the poster child for remote communications. And again, many of these might not displace a Microsoft or displace an Amazon just because of uh, their, their influence and pervasiveness across so many pillars that we use as consumers, that we use as part of our day-to-day -day business now. Uh, but the, the, I think the broader point is that when we begin to think about what are the themes that are going to have legs in the new normal, to me, one of those is all of the 
uh, potential to, again, to empower us to be productive, to be efficient, whether that's working partially in an office, collaborating with people uh, that are socially distanced from us there, or collaborating where some of us are in the office, some of us are at our homes, or some of us uh, maybe in other places. So, you know, one of the lasting themes I believe we're going to see from this pandemic is, again, uh, greater acceptance of, of that people can work anywhere. Yeah. And, yeah, and to add to that, point. Bob, you think about a company like Tesla that hasn't even made it into the S&P 500 so far. So when you want to diversify outside of, outside of major market indexes, which is important today, although you know the S&P 500 has done great in the last 10 years, it's made up of a lot of big stocks. You look at RSP, which is the equal weight S&P 500 ETF, that's still down 10 percent year to date. So it's been those big stocks yeah. that have kind of carried the day, yeah. but there are also other stocks that are growing that haven't yet made it into those indexes. You can buy them within other thematic ETFs that might make sense to, again, have a satellite in your portfolio. 